but in life there's always a chance to grow. Let me raise this chair up right quick because it's short. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can y'all see me? Okay, we good. Hope everyone is having an awesome day. Um, today is Friday, September 21st. Um, it's probably about like 10 a.m. right now. Um, this is gonna be a little bit personal video right here. I, it's just been on my heart to just put this out there. I don't know why. I just wanna help other people. Because it seems like it's not a lot of information out right now on the situation. As far as like videos and people actually like, yes, this work, this work and showing you. That's what, is, that's what I like to see. Like meals, like what I can eat, what I can't eat, like the nitty gritty stuff. Um, I'm currently, not currently, but... For the rest of my life, I will be dealing with hypothyroidism, um, which is a which means that I have an underactive thyroid that doesn't produce enough hormones. Um, Mom, I feel like I'm getting nervous right now. Uh, I guess this is like my first time actually like saying it out, saying it, and hearing myself say it. Um, the symptoms of this, off the top of my head, is it, it, it causes fatigue, causes forgetfulness, um, kind of at times causes you like your heart to speed up a little bit at times. Um, from what I've noticed, <clears throat> from what I've noticed, um, causes me to be sleepy, causes me to have a slower metabolism, takes longer to get all weight and that bothers me that is probably the most one that bothers me outside of the hair loss because i really love my locks man i want to rock this to like i'm 70 80 you feel me <laughs> so that's just some of the symptoms um you can of course google it find out more information for yourself um I know the two things that I know right now that triggers it is uh, gluten and dairy. Um, I'm working on being gluten free. Every day has its own challenges. <laughs> but by me putting this out, I will stick more to it. I'm starting fresh. Today's Friday. Monday and being gluten free again like 100% taking it one day at a time um some foods that I can't eat kale broccoli cauliflower and brussels sprouts and it's crazy cuz I just tried brussels sprouts like a couple weeks ago enjoyed it <laughs> I can, wait, let me take that back. I can't enjoy those foods. It's just got to be cooked for excessive amount of time, like 30 minutes or more to really, like, help my body to digest it. Um, I feel like... It's, it's so many things that 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 can that can like trigger this that it's just like an ever ending learning experience because <laughs> it's like now I'm paying more attention to my body like when I eat like I notice like okay when I eat this type of food like I know it's about the swelling in my neck that's how I know like I I can't eat certain foods. Um, I notice when I eat fruits and most vegetables that my, my throat doesn't swell. But like, let's say I go out to Taco Bell. 
my throat swells within like 30 minutes or an hour. Um, I'm just really paying attention to how my body reacts to food now. Keeping my stress levels down. I started back meditating because it helps me. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. I'm not sure if I'm the first African American on YouTube to express that I have this issue, but I would like more of us to come out and talk about this just because like I want to see more of like what my people are doing to help heal the situation. Is I'm not knocking any other race or ethnic background but I feel like I can me personally I can relate more to my <laughs> race and like the, the the situations we face and what foods are we eating to help the situation because one food may not go across the board for every race. The progress that I'm going to do next week is um, do gluten free as well as I wanna, I heard that uh, what causes it is iodine deficiency. So this next weekend, I'm going to purchase some iodine and see how that works. Also, I'm gonna add turmeric to my uh, meals this week or next week and see how that works because I heard that's a good herb to use or good spice further. Yeah, I've been down <laughs> but I've noticed it last night. It was a little bit on Wednesday but Thursday I just was in the dumps. Like Thursday to like Friday morning. So I started watching videos of people like actually turning this around and improving it's like okay that's the motivation i needed um went to sleep woke up felt better more like motivated feel like i have some kind of direction to go in because as you know doctors will be like oh there's nothing else you can do you just gotta take this medicine no disrespect but I feel like there's always an outside way, outside of medicine, to heal yourself. Or at least alleviate the symptoms. That's what I'm mainly working on. <laughs> it's to alleviate the, the, the um, symptoms to where, like, I'm not feeling as much. Because right now, I feel it at least... I say like every other day to every three days right now. If I can get it to like once a week before the year is out, that's progress. If I can get it every four days, that's progress. <laughs> so like if anybody has any comments, any suggestions, any book suggestions I've, I've come across, I'm going to order some books probably next month. <laughs> um, to start getting more knowledge on it, reading more books, more substance, rather than watching videos, which videos are nice, but they don't really show you everything. <laughs> and I want this part of this channel to be where you really see me progressing. You see what I'm doing. Like I'm gonna show y'all meal preps. I'm going to show y'all things that I'm doing to help improve my situation so yeah if you have comments concerns or whatever the case may be put in the comments let me know i'll comment back get back with you conversate all that good stuff like comment subscribe holla back but in life there's always Chance to